Hi guys, I'm Eileen. So I love a lot of things from Hermes, especially their handbags. I think the quality is impeccable. Many times their designs are quite minimal, but you can just tell the craftsmanship is amazing. So today I want to share with you guys the handbags I will recommend if you're shopping for your first Hermes handbag. We all know the Birkin, Kelly and Constance are beautiful, but they are also not the easiest handbags to get. So I want to talk about handbags which are more readily available, so you shouldn't need a purchase history to get one. I think these handbags are all beautiful, so if you're quite new to Hermes, these can certainly make the perfect first Hermes handbags. First of all, I think the Picatinn can be a fantastic choice if you're shopping for your first Hermes handbag. The price tag is relatively low compared to all the other handbags in Hermes, and typically you should be able to get one without a purchase history, especially if you're quite flexible with color and hardware. These bags are available in three sizes, namely the 18, 22 and 26 and they are usually made with the Clamont's ladder which is a slouchy and textured calf ladder. In the last few years I've also seen the Picatinn in Apson ladder. Personally I prefer these bags in Clamont's because of the more relaxed and casual vibe. Hermes has also brought out some special edition Picatins. For example, I've seen the Clamont's Picatin with crocodile skin handles, and I've also seen the Apson Picatins with very pretty embroidery on the handles. In terms of sizes, I'm more drawn to the smaller size, which is the 18. I just think it's so chic and adorable. That said, I've also heard a lot of good things about the size 22 and 26, so I think it's just really down to personal preferences. I think Picatinn is a very practical handbag. It has an open top, so access should be quite easy, and the inside is very roomy, so you shouldn't have to downsize too much. I actually have Picatinn 18 on my wish list right now, and I highly recommend you to look into it. Next is the Lindy. In fact, Lindy 26 was my very first Hermes handbag. I sold the bag last year mainly because of the color, so I had it in a light green color called Sarge. And if you know me, I wear everything neutral, so I was finding it a bit difficult to wear the bag. Many times I actually had to plan my outfits around the handbag, so I figured it's too much effort. Nevertheless, I still really love the design of Alinde. I think it's very unusual and unique. Many people say the shape of Alinde looks like a dumpling, which I agree. I think even if you're not really into Hermes, you might still look at the back and think it's an interesting design. In terms of sizes, I used to think there were only three sizes, so the 26, 30 and 34 but apparently that's a size 45 as well but this size is quite hard to come by and because it's quite a big handbag it's commonly used for travel I have a liking for smaller handbags so I would recommend the size 26 it looks small but it can actually fit a lot and I don't think you will have any trouble fitting all your essentials I used to love carrying my Lindy on the handles, but it does come with a shoulder strap, so it's really handy if you need to be hands-free. I also really love the fact that they are 5 feet on the bottom part of the handbag. They really help to keep the leather clean. In terms of price point, they cost more than double compared to the Picatins. In fact, a Lindy 26 costs about the same like a Chanel Jumbo, so it's by no means a light purchase, but I think it's worth looking into. Another handbag I think will make a lovely first Hermes handbag is the Garden Party, which essentially is an open tote bag. You can find these bags in three different sizes. I see a lot of the size 30 and 36, but apparently there's a size 39 as well. They are also available in either canvas with leather trimming or fully leather. Now I don't like to pay a lot of money for canvas handbags, so my recommendation will be the leather versions. They are usually made with either the Apson, Country Leather or Nigonda Leather, which are all fairly durable leathers, perfect for a hard-working tote. 
Now I think a garden party might not look like a Birkin, but it works almost like one. And because the design is quite simple and understated, I want to say it's the perfect alternative for a Birkin if you think a Birkin will attract too much unwanted attention. The only complaint I have for this bag is that I wish Hermes added some fit uh, to the bottom of the handbag just like for the Birkins. Anyway, I find the plain silhouette of this bag very refreshing. It's certainly very appropriate for work, especially if you work in quite a reserved setting and you're not looking for too much logo. That said, on the weekend, you can certainly change up the vibe by adding some twillies and a leather charm. In terms of price point, they are priced between the Picadines and the Lindys. I also think Belit is worth looking into if you're shopping for your first Hermes handbag. This bag was first designed in 1923 and it was the very first handbag to have a zipper. There are five sizes, so the Mini 18, 27, 31, 35 and 45. I think the Belize just looks so classy and ladylike and it's one of those handbags that can look very professional for work, yet very chic with casual outfits. I love that it's got a shoulder strap and two handles, so it's a very functional and versatile handbag as well. I really think Belize are beautiful, but they are quite underrated. My personal favourite is the size 27 in Apson leather. In fact, I actually asked for one together with my Kelly 28 and I was thinking to just get whatever that came first but my essay told me uh, they hardly order Belit 27 especially in Apson leather and she kindly got me the Kelly 28 which I love as well. Another size I really adore from this collection is the Mini Belit. It looks so cute and tiny, but from the research I've done, it can actually fit all my basic essentials. So it's a bag I would seriously consider if I didn't have a Chanel mini flap. Last but not least, the Hermes Sack Huli. So these are flat bags which can be worn on either single or double strap. They are available in different leathers such as Avacolor, Swift and Clamons. They are two sizes, so the mini one is 18 and the bigger one is 23 cm. So the sizes are quite comparable to the Constance and they might be the perfect choice for you if you prefer to have something a little bit more understated. One thing I really like about this bag is that it's got a back pocket. In fact, I really wish Hermes added this feature to the Constance as well. Anyway, the inside looks quite similar to the Constance. It has a few compartments to help to keep things organized. But I've heard that this bag can actually fit quite a bit more because the closure is more flexible. It doesn't have a clasp as such. You basically just slot the leather flap underneath the metal buckle. The price point is quite comparable to the Constance. But unlike the Constance, you don't need a purchase history to get this bag. However, I've heard that these bags are getting quite popular, so there might be a bit of waiting time. Again, I prefer the smaller size, which is the 18. I think it looks very chic, but yet elegant. However, the shoulder strap is a little bit on the shorter side, so make sure to bear that in mind, especially if you are planning to wear the bag crossbody. So those are the five handbags I think any handbag lovers can absolutely consider as their first Hermes handbags. These are all amazing and usable handbags, but remember the right bag in the wrong color or size is still the wrong bag. So make sure to only get one that is perfect for you. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.